Hi, so today I'm going to um, make a photogrammetry photos. The day is perfect because it's just right after rainy. Um, if you look around here, I'm hiding myself under the tree shadow, so I don't. I have even lights. Um, it's. I think it's natural light is always better than artificial light. Indoor place, so uh, outdoor is better because you can avoid the direct light from artificial lights. And today, uh, let's make some photos so we can um, make photogrammetry. So here in the park, I brought this chair and the sculpture I put on the top of chair. The reason why is because I can also take picture from downside. So I can take as many photos as possible from multiple perspective of anger. Well, let's get started. So I took um, around 50, I don't know how many photos, but I took photos from every angle. So now I'm going to bring this um, thing to the um, um, Mega Shape software and let's see what result we can get. So here I'm, I'm here, uh, Agisoft Meta Shape, the software name is called Meta Shape. Uh, download the trial version of MetaShape. Um, then um, you can put the photos um, in about 74 photos I took. That you can put it in the um, uh, in MetaShape. And as you can see, there's a couple of steps we have to do. Um, you can see the position of camera location. And after merging all the photos, align the photos, I make it to like a little bit um, dense cloud point cloud uh, file. And after that, I build, I build the um, the model with the texture. So you can see here, um, you can compare um, the uh, the mesh geometry. And um, yeah, there's some artifacts um, backside of the uh, ox sculpture. Maybe the, I could have taken more photos on that, that side. Uh, nevertheless, the uh, mesh looks not too bad. And when I put wireframe, and it's quite dense mess. Um, and let's see in the texture map. So I'm quite happy with the result actually. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, as you can see. So, um, if you have proper equipment that you can rotate uh, the base of the model uh, without moving your camera position, then you can use probably tripod, uh, fixed tripod for your DSLR, and then you just move the rotate the uh, model from the base, then you could maybe get much better uh, result. But I'm it's not too bad. It's quite, I'm quite happy with the result. So that one I exported as a um, FX model. Um, later on, I imported in Rhino. So you can see in Rhino um, the and I just a little bit tied up and scaled, uh, put in the correct uh, sort of position that uh, we could use this Rhino model um, to. You to put it in Sketchfab, like such a platform to share your model, or we could actually um, use 3GS um, JavaScript uh, plugin 3GS to display this model uh, in WebGL format. So uh, there is an example I did here, um, as you can see. It's not bad in web viewer, so you can actually share this. At the moment, I just put it in my local host, uh, but you can put in your FTP server to share with other collaborator. So um, yeah, it's it's really 
I think I found this really good because um, such a geometry, um, especially freeform or sort of painting or sculptures or let's say um, unpredictable geometry that um, complex texture, which um, is uh, artworks such as statues or sculpture, we can capture uh, with meta shape. And with using this photogrammetry, you can um, share the model with other people. So um, I found it's really interesting. And um, now I'm going to continue uh, with this model. Probably next episode, I'm going to test Rhino 7's uh, new functions to simplify the mesh. Or we can code remesh. And then maybe you can control the number of polygons to make it a bit more um, um, game engine friendly model. Because right now the mesh is really, really dense. So it's, it's difficult to use in Unreal Engine or other um, Unity 3D such a game engine. So I'm very curious how um, Rhino 7's code remesh is going to help for this um, case study. All right. Um, all right. Thank you very much for watching it. And if you liked it, please subscribe and thumbs up. Bye bye.